Favor Williams says, money school exempts the students from COVID and public school exposed them to COVID. For someone who is the Minister of Education, sounded illiterate. Just like Gampa on YouTube, figure you bring some new food. Hello people and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, a special welcome to you. I ask that you check out the rest of my videos. If you like what you see, give them a thumbs up, leave a comment, but more than anything, I'm asking that you subscribe to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about two topics. The first one I'm gonna talk about is my plans on moving away from YouTube. I'm kind of looking into some option as to how to skip out of YouTube, but keep you, my subscribers, inform um, con and continue to do what I love doing, which is commenting on topics and issues that's going on in and around Jamaica, and also topics that concern um, what is identified as the minority of the world. I don't know why they call black people the minority, but that's a different subject. I often tackle subject that surrounds my black people but considering that i'm a jamaican my main topics often aim to jamaica and jamaican so the next topic that i'm going to be discussing comes out of jamaica i'm going to actually be attacking favor williams the minister of education at the moment for a comment that she made in regards to private schools being given the opportunity for early face-to-face -face resumption of school and public school that are not being given that privilege at the moment. But we'll get into that. Um, that is pretty much what's going to take up most of my video today. So let's take care of the, the shorter version of this video. The shorter version of this video is if you guys check out my last two videos, you can tell that I've been contemplating on whether or not YouTube is worthy of my presence. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like I'm tooting my own, but I'm actually, I actually am tooting my own. I'm actually contemplating on whether or not I should still stay on YouTube. So one of the options that I saw that was introduced to me is a site called OnlyFans. So OnlyFans, for most of you guys who don't know anything about OnlyFans, it's one of those websites, platform, in my opinion, it's a combination of YouTube, Instagram, and Patreon all together. I could do on OnlyFans exactly what I'm doing here, but the only difference is my subscribers would not be able to view it for free. They would have to pay a monthly subscription fee. For my viewers and subscribers that are overseas, I see a small fee of say five, six, seven US dollars monthly to be nothing. But considering that most of my subject is coming out of Jamaica, I am weighing up my Jamaican supporters, my Jamaican subscribers on whether or not they can afford to pay that on a monthly basis or whether or not they would want to pay that on a monthly basis. Am I worth it? Am I worth $7 a month to for you guys to see? Let me know. Um, but at the same time, there's another reason why I'm not really um, feeling OnlyFans at the moment. OnlyFans is a platform that even though it is there for all creators of all sorts to draw their subscription there and generate some funds. Thus far, since the platform has launched, it has been dominated with sexual content. It has been dominated with creators who promote sexual explicit content. The fact that the reputation has been marred with this whole sexual explicit content could be distasteful for some subscribers to even want to have any affiliation with the site. Anyway, you guys can read up some more about it on Google. It's called OnlyFans. Anyway, 
I have not decided whether or not I'm going to stick with that yet. So that is something that you guys can help me to make up my mind with. In the meantime, I will stay with YouTube, but I've came to a decision where my YouTube contents are concerned. And, you know, YouTube over the last year, I would say, have gotten more aggressive with their advertisement. I mean, back in the, back in the day, last year, up until last year, you would get like a three second ad and then onto the video. Um, YouTube has gotten so greedy and so aggressive that when you click on a monetized video these days, sometimes you have to wait 20 seconds, sometimes you have to wait 30 seconds, there's this, there's this advert after advert after advert. I understand that YouTube is making money from these adverts. Unfortunately, content creators such as myself, who um, actually pulls the viewers in, to my channel does not make any money at all. Um, give you a perfect example. According to YouTube, since July of this year until this month, according to YouTube, my channel has only generated $83. It's mad, right? Anyway, I've got a solution to that, which will appease both my subscribers and myself. Considering that I don't really make money off these um, videos that are monetized and they are such a nuisance to view when you are watching a video and then you have to put up with this 30 second interruption of an ad. I've decided to stop monetizing my videos. If I stop monetizing the videos, then we both win. You, my subscriber, get to hear what I'm saying without any interruption and I will have no hopes of generating any income so I could not be disappointed. <laughs> so it's a win-win. Let me know what you think of that as well. That is also my intention. If you notice my last video that I uploaded, there's no advert there. Why? Because I did not monetize it. And also this video here, not monetizing. Let me know what you guys, how you guys feel about my decision of wanting to move away from YouTube. And at the same time, also my decision of staying on YouTube but stop monetizing the videos because I don't really benefit from them. Anyway, on to the subject at end, which is Favel Williams, Minister of Education. I was watching the Jamaican news and they were talking about COVID and face-to-face -face class reunion for the schoolers in Jamaica. And Fable Williams made a statement that kind of set me back. I guess someone had asked why is the private schools allowed to resume face-to-face -face classes, but the public schools aren't. And Fable Williams responded by saying, most of the private school children arrive and depart from school in private cars. True. So what does that mean? Does that mean that People in their household isn't likely to have COVID and the public school attendees are considered more likely to have COVID because they take the bus. I didn't get that. I thought that was bias. I thought that was prejudice. I thought it didn't hold any logic. The, the whole statement for someone who is the Minister of Education sounded illiterate. And I like Favor Williams. Uh, there's just something about her that I like. But that was a non-logical comment that she made in regards to private school versus public school in Jamaica. And while I'm on the subject, I have to touch this because this reminded me of something that I saw on TV. It was two brothers who attended the Hillel High School in Jamaica. And if I'm not mistaken, Hillel High School is also a private school. These two boys, if I'm guessing right, they are white Jamaicans. Can't remember their first name, but I remember their last name being Clark. So to the Clark brothers from Hillel High School, this is a message to you. No disrespect to your skin color, no disrespect to your ethnicities. I respect all Jamaicans and I validate them as Jamaicans as long as they tick the box 
of being born in Jamaica, or the boxes, I should say, of having Jamaican parents or becoming a Jamaican by naturalization. If you're a Jamaican, you're a Jamaican. I uphold and I embrace the motto out of many one people. However, the motto out of many one people, it is fair to say it has been abused and it has been used against black Jamaicans like myself to be quiet and accept things as it is just because of that motto. While fairer skinned Jamaican and Jamaicans that look like uh, Mark Golden or the Clark brothers get extra privilege in Jamaica just because of how they look. The Clark brothers were televised recently, I believe by the Gleaner, as they donated some furniture and equipment to the University Hospital of the West Indies. It's a good thing. I'm all for good causes. I'm all for good charity. But I'd be lying if I said while I was watching it and feeling good within myself, that I didn't think, mm, I wonder if Jamaican children that look like me did the very same thing. Would they get that recognition? Would they get that exposure? And why would I wonder that? Because I'm Jamaican. I am from Jamaica. And it is a shame that some 30 years, 40 years later, that I'm a middle-aged man, I still sense that that bias and that prejudice, that thin line of segregation still lies in Jamaica. And if it does, I resent it. Again, nothing against the Clark brothers or their parents, nothing against Mark Golden when I often say Mark Golden is not of the right ethnicity to be the next Jamaica prime minister. I have no prejudice or dislike against any of my Jamaican people, despite what they look like. But considering the history and where we're coming from in Jamaica, I would like to see when someone like Mark Golden become Prime Minister of Jamaica, that the, the era of the bias is so long gone that it's not even a question. I would like when people like the Clarks brothers grow up and become the head of anything in Jamaica, that my children or grandchildren and their peers would just see the Clark brothers as just Jamaicans. They're getting credit because they did something good. So, hope I didn't mix two different subjects there, but it's what was going on in my head. I was talking about... Um, the Minister of Education, Faithful Williams, giving more slacks to private schools than public schools, as if, well, the money that private school students pay exempt them from COVID, or because they travel in a private car to school, they are exempt from COVID. Last time I was in Jamaica, I realized that almost everybody and their mama got a car now. So it is fair to say not all private school sit, um, student goes to school in a car, and likewise, not all public school student takes the bus. Maybe majority of them does, but it was not a fair statement, in my opinion, that Favor Williams says money school exempts the students from COVID and public school exposed them to COVID. She didn't use those words, but that's what it translates to. Anyway, people, let me know what you think of my criticism to Favor Williams. Again, Ms. Williams, if you're watching this, I'm a fan of you. But, you know, even when I'm a fan of a particular person, if they say wrong or do wrong, I'm going to call them out. Just like I would like my subscribers who are a fan of me, if I say something out of pocket or say something wrong, put me in check. You know, I'm not above the rules of discriminate of of being criticized <laughs> i am above the rules of being discriminated against but i'm not above the rules of being criticized anyway people before i go let me big up some people <laughs> First of all, I want to big up Blessed One, and I want to say Blessed One, thank you very much for your messages. Thank you very much for wanting me to stay here on YouTube 
And thank you very much for letting me know that you look forward to my videos every time I post them. Likewise, I could say the very same thing to my other subscriber, Marvel Roberts. Marvel Roberts, big up yourself. Roots Rock, Yardman TV in Germany, Gregory McKinnon, Margie I. Phillips, and last but not least, I want a big up Health Light. <laughs> Anyway, people, like I said, that's pretty much all I have to say about this particular subject. Let me know how you feel about it. I feel as if I rambled on and bumped it subject into subject, but sometimes that's just how it is, and we're Jamaican, so if it's if it doesn't fall in line like a vlog, just see it as a reasoning. Until next time, people. You've reached the end of my video, and that in itself is a support that I truly appreciate. Other ways that you can support this channel is by giving this video a thumbs up. But the most important way to support my channel is to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on any of my future uploads. The third way to support this channel is to go to my Teespring account and purchase in any of my merch. And the fourth way that you can support this channel is joining me in Patreon to give me a contribution to help me to do what I do here in YouTube. Once again, I want to thank all of you guys for checking out my video and ask that you continue to join me, Ian T. Sebastian, here on YouTube to see where my journey takes me. Until next time, peace.